Hello once again, Razmanites. Christmas week continues here on the Razman's Reality for 2011, as this time we take a look at Rankin and Bass's Twas the Night Before Christmas on the Razman's Reality. Rankin and Bass this time take a look at the beloved poem Twas the Night Before Christmas. The difference here being that Twas the Night Before Christmas, while being a great poem, is really, really short and it only talks about the arrival of Santa. So the backstory and the means of the special was an entire fabrication of Rankin and Bass, and it was a good one. It tells the story of Father Mouse's family. Father Mouse is played, and also he narrates the entire story. He's played by Joel Gray, who, as everyone knows, is one of the most accomplished actors of his time. So that was pretty cool. His family lives below the town clockmaker, and... His son, Albert, who's a genius and thinks too much with his head and not with his heart, believes that Santa Claus is a fraudulent myth and writes so in the town newspaper. While well, Santa sees this article and refuses to take any letters from the town. So once they figure out what's going on, the town clockmaker decides that he is going to build a giant clock to try and get back in Santa's good graces. And the special thing about this clock is that this clock will have all the children of the town seen for Santa. Albert gets curious about how the clock works. He goes inside the clock to try and figure it out and of course breaks it. So the story is about not only his redemption and realizing that it's not so much about Santa the person but Santa and the overall good feelings that he brings to everyone and also the fact that his actions have consequences and in the end he helps repair the giant clock he damaged at the children sing. Santa, of course, comes down, and that's where we hear the poem. And in a nice touch that's appropriate for this story, Santa is mouse sized. So, I always enjoyed that. This is a great little special. One that I, as I said, am very admirable, or excuse me, admirable of have a lot of admiration for there we go because it was completely original content the blu-ray transfer itself is immaculate once again stunningly restored from its film source with great sound so everything you'd want you can have special features on this one include a animated comic book which is told by a fictional elf and he tells 
Elf, sorry, I think I put a GH there, he tells the story of Christmas throughout the world and how different people see Santa Claus and Christmas. So while it has nothing to do with the special, it is a very entertaining thing for little kids and probably really informative to them. And I even learned some stuff because this was the first time I'd seen this special when I got this Blu-ray. So I really want to thank Brad for all these, of course, but especially this one, because this one is one that just never gets shown on TV anymore, at least not that I can see. So I hadn't seen it in about 10 years. So it was really great to revisit this one. And now if we take a quick look inside. The artwork is exactly the same on the front of the case as it was with the slipcase on, so there was no point in showing you. But as you can see on the left there is the DVD copy with the exact same artwork. And then on the right is your Blu-ray disc, which has a black cover and almost golden like snow. So pretty cool this artwork there. So there you have it. Great special great presentation all the way around I cannot recommend owning Towards the Night Before Christmas enough and one thing I did forget to mention is that the whole basis of the story of course as you can hear probably hear from my telling of it was the opening line of the poem Towards the Night Before Christmas and all through the house not a creature was stirring not even a mouse this is reality according to the Razman. In Razman style, it's not just a country race, but a way of life.